Now, it is 8.51. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News, and we're going to go from the ballroom to a rugby pitch. That's what Strictly's Amy Dowden is going to do. Yes, because she is inspiring others to do the same with her new programme, Dare to Dance, where she helps people put together spectacular routines to fulfil their dreams or surprise their loved ones, even if they have absolutely no experience of dancing. Let's take a look. Dance, it's my life. When I dance, I feel I can overcome anything. It's something I want more people to experience. I really believe it can change your life. Now I want to help people who have never set foot on a dance floor find their feet. I've always wanted to learn to dance. Well, I know Grandpa could never teach me. <laughs> Each of them have someone they want to surprise. Wrong arm, Rachel, <laughs> just your arm up. Someone they want to dance for. Because that would be his thing. I feel great to Oh, don't know, don't cry. It won't always be easy. <gasps> Amy's here with us now. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. It is not always easy, is it? There are yeah. tears, but there are happy tears a lot of the time. Yeah, absolutely. It's just been such a wonderful journey watching all the emotions, but rewarding emotions of them getting there and achieving their dreams. And we say these are people who maybe just have never danced, have yeah. never had that confidence or thought they had the talent. Yeah, but always long to. And like Sian in episode one, since a little girl she wanted to dance. And she does so much for everybody else. Like, I even talked to her grandson in the episode. And um, he says she doesn't even put herself second or third. She puts herself seventh, eighth. You know, she's been through so much. And it was for her to have her moment, finally give herself some time. And yeah, it's something she longed to do since a little girl. What I love about it is it's not a competition. No. It's not about winning, is it? No, it's about them having their moment. All of the contributors are just the most amazing people, do so much for others, the community, for charities, but never anything for themselves. And this is what they deserve and something they've just always longed to do. So it's almost like therapy for people, is yeah. it? And they're learning a new skill, they get something out of the end of it, but they're yeah. going on quite a journey in between. Yeah, them. and, you know, it's just rewarding. Even if you just, at the beginning, you can't get that specific dance step, and at the end of the section, that session, they've nailed it. Even that, it's just such a feel-good factor. And I know for dancing, it's, it does just make you feel so good. It's the endorphins, and it's been my saviour with my Crohn's disease in life, and just watching what it does for them, it's just been, yeah, mm. so special. You mentioned you have Crohn's disease. Yeah. Now, how has that impacted on you and your decision to take part in something like this and to bring like the joy of dance to people who might not be able to find it? Yeah, well, for me and the journey I've been on, it's been my saviour. And I think, you know, and especially in the busy lives we, li we live today for everybody, we all need to remember to take some time for ourselves. And I think that also helps with anybody living with a chronic illness, that escapism. Um, and I know for some of the contributors, they've been through so much as well, and this was their escapism as well. So how, how has dance helped you then? Has it helped you escape? Do you know, like, when I've been in hospital, it was one time I was in hospital for six weeks, and I'd had my dancing taken away from me, but it was getting back on the dance floor, achieving my dreams, that pushed me to get better. It's what, you know, when I was so poorly, I you know, is what pushed me out of bed and, you know, made me more determined. And, you know, when I'm dancing, it's what takes me away from all my worries, all my pain, my stresses. Obviously, there are times where I can't dance mm. due to the pain, but it's what strives me and keeps me going. And are you sure. thinking of that experience of what you've been through yeah. when you're dealing with the people in the programme? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. And I just wanted them all to have the most amazing, special time and a memory forever. Um, when we watch you on Strictly and we watch the celebrities taking part in Strictly, obviously that's a competition. Everybody's yes. being judged and it's you've got to get Charlotte better week by week. But I think when you watch the programme, the magic is not in the points or who's good or who's rubbish. It's in the emotion, isn't it? It's in the transformation in the person. It really does change people, doesn't it? It really does. And they're all on their own journey. And it was all for such a special, unique occasion within their lives. So, yeah, they wasn't being compared to anybody else. This was purely their moment to shine and to celebrate them. 
The people you, you've dealt with in the in the program that you featured, do some of them just think I can't dance? <laughs> Not just that they want to dance, but they I can't do yeah. it. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, there was a lot of pet talks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what was so lovely as well, it became full circle because we took them all to the dance school. That brought me from that little girl to the dancer I am today, Chappelle's Dance Academy, and Carol and Philip were on board, teacher Lloyd, who's a champion. Carol was getting their dance dresses, Lloyd was helping me teach them. So they had the full experience of what I also had as a dancer, which was just, yeah, it was just lovely. But, but surely, I mean, some people can't dance. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can't. You haven't done Strictly. No, I think I we need to get haven't. you on. For very Correct. good reasons. Yes, you do. Let's start that campaign this morning. There are some people who just can't do it, surely, that you, who are unteachable. No, that's our job. Leave it to us pros. And look at Tony Adams this year. Look how far he got yeah. and what he achieved. His born when he came out and danced that quick step. No one would have believed that week one. Look at Hamza. No one expected him to go on and win. So what is it? What's the magic ingredient? What's, all, what changes? Falling in love with dance and music and getting lost. And just believing in yourself. And watching someone grow in confidence. I promise you. Come on, do it and I'll show you. Oh, there we go. Click that up. <laughs> yeah. That'll be on Twitter in five minutes. Dare to dance. I dare you to dare to dance. Um, with the people, what, what's the moment from the whole series that, that really stands out in your head? That when you stood there watching a dance at the end or watching them in yeah. rehearsals? Yeah. For me, is watching the nerves beforehand and then just watching them embrace it and their family's reactions, the tears, the excitement. And then at the end when they go, I did that. And I was like, yes, you did, yeah. There's too many to pick from, but yeah. Is this Charlotte? This Tell is us about Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, she's a remarkable, bubbly, full of personality. Again, she works for the ambulance service, the local council. She helps everybody. And yeah, this was her time to shine. She was doing this for her husband's 50th birthday, but also, I know right now she's battling breast cancer. And this, and I know she won't mind me saying, you know, this episode Erin for her has just been the lift she needed, but she's a special friend for life, yeah. And look how much she's enjoying it. You just feel yeah. the enthusiasm, yeah. She's amazing. Absolutely wow. amazing. Thank you so much for coming well, in. Thanks that's for having the, me. I think on a cold, icy Monday morning. That's what that's we needed. Uh, lovely, yeah. lovely to And I'm going to get you dancing now in a minute. There you go. <laughs> uh, the third episode of Amy Dowden's Dare to Dance is on BBC One Wales this Saturday at 5.35. And it's all on the iPlayer right now. You can watch the whole series.